This is my jammer harness. Used to be in a cabinet, and it needs to go back in. I've also used it for bench testing. So a bit of chocolate block there for stereo. Got a um, video amplifier board, because I like to run televisions and projectors. That's the SCART connector for the television. Got this that would have gone off to the buttons via another bit of harness, bit of kick harness there. And that's a bit of a mess, and I need two of them. So, what's the best solution? So, I call this the Jammer to TV PCB I've made. It's got video amplifier, which will take the RGB TTL levels from the game board and amplify them to the 75 ohms to go to SCART, and also comes out on this header. We also have an audio de-amplifier circuit, which will take the speaker out from the game board, some burden resistors underneath, and an op-amp, and that will step down the speaker voltage to bring that out on the SCART. It can also come out on this line out, which you can also set to be a line in if you want to bring stereo in and bring that out on the SCART connector. Got a full suite of buttons here and these little four-way joysticks so I can test boards like this without having to put a load of wires off this thing. And we've got a switch here to power the game board, which via these two relays will apply the 5 volts, the 12 volts and the minus 5 volts. And if you haven't got a minus 5 volts, there's a DC, a DC converter on here. You can bring the power in on this green header or you can bring it from the cabinet on this jammer connector down here. And similarly, buttons you can bring out, will bring in from the cabinet along here, or you can use these Neo Geo compatible headers here. And the idea is you will use the ribbon cable and these sorts of connectors to add extra buttons, kick harnesses, they can all plug into here. Okay, let's power it up and connect the game. You'll see we have a multimeter in this corner that'll read the 5 volts, the 12 volts, the minus 5, and thanks to this little current sensor here, it should also give you the current for the 5 amp rail. So let's turn on this game. 3.6 amps. And you can zoom in. sensor drifts a bit, although it doesn't seem to be. Hold it down. That should zero the offset on it. Back on. Game boards, control the volume. And one other feature is these two pots here, which will move on the next version of the board. So they're glued on at the moment. They will adjust the start again. 